Cougar fans, it is time. Touchdown! What a grab! It's time to raise your colors, raise your voice, and join in on the raucous roundtable about your favorite team, the BYU Cougars. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! It's time to tailgate. Cougar Tailgate, where BYU sports fandom lives. And here's your host, Lauren McClain. What's up, Cougar Nation? I'm Lauren McLean, and we're here to tailgate with some of the most prominent families in Cougar history. This is part two of my interview with husband and wife, Mitch and Maddie Matthews, former star athletes for the BYU football team and women's soccer team. All right, let's start with questions for Mitch about Maddie, okay? We're going to do oh, three I'm questions, nail, three, three trivia questions from Maddie's I'm career. This. First question is, which team did Maddie get her debut against? Oh, like freshman year? Yeah, we first even, team she played we against stepped on the field. Uh, you're talking the premortal existence, like <laughs> before I even I'm knew trying who to think was. If I even remember. <laughs> yeah, if she doesn't know. I get a yeah. pass. You know what I'm she, saying? You don't remember your very first game you played in at BYU? I don't either. I don't remember. Like even stepped on the field. I'm gonna say conference. They were Mountain West. I think I'm gonna go maybe like an exhibition. Utah State. I don't think they were eh. Mountain West. I think they were WCC. We were, yeah. Back then? So, wrong. wrong. Utah eh. or Utah State? Eh. No. Just like an exhibition. No. Dang it. Maddie, do you know? It wasn't Fresno. Nope. But it was the one after that. It was a home game. And I'm trying to remember which team it was. If you don't get it right, I don't get it wrong. Wasn't St. Mary's, was it? No. Washington State. Was it Washington State? Pass. Listen, that's what our stats wow. tell us. <laughs> I do I remember I where it was. I right? remember my game, so you good. Okay, here's the next one. Which team did Maddie score her very first goal against? You Do should. Know this one? You should Oregon. know this one. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you should know a, this one. Dude, that was a and lightning. And it was the game winner. <laughs> that was a lightning strike. I'll catch <laughs> Maddie. I'll catch. I'll roll over. So Stop it. Do not go here. I will catch Maddie. <laughs> Watching that highlight to herself sometimes. <laughs> I don't. I would too. Are you kidding Straight me? Such a good memory. She'll have like this little smirk, smirk on her face, <laughs> like super proud of herself. I'm like, dude, that was ten. They're like, get years over ago. it. You can't I'm tell me you don't watch your highlights. I don't. Oh yeah, Mitch of the Hill Mary. Uh, <laughs> oh, never ever cringe. No, I'm just joking about her like, like watching it on the highlights. But it was a sick shot, though. Can't take it away from her. Thank you. Well, I would. Listen, even if you do, zero judgment. <laughs> insane, I totally would. Insane shot. All right, here's your last one. Maddie's 100-meter personal record in college was over or under 12 seconds? Over. 12.04. Official you time. Got it. it is over, but it wasn't 12.04. It was 12.01. I was so Barely. close. I was so Barely, close. I remember Maddie. looking at the time like if you no. gave her another month, it's different. That was the frustrating part change. of one season. Every time I was running, I was PRing. So I'm like, oh, so you're like, come, come on, on. My more. last race, I'm like, I just wanted to get in the 11. Like give, that would have been so cool. You give her. You could probably do it now. You give her a four. <laughs> I'm like sprinting a pole years. hamstring. <laughs> you give her a full four years of just track. She's she's an 11. Five. I would have loved to see where I've 11, gone. Four. But yeah, thank you. I I would hope so. That's Just amazing. 11s, in the She's 11s. That, that, amazing that, 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 that. athlete. Mm, thank you. All right, Maddie, these are for you. Oh, gosh. Mitch had his first career reception against this ACC school in 2012. Do you even know what ACC is? <laughs> I don't know which teams are in the ACC. <laughs> Do you even know? Give me the Can, can give you me give me a acronym. hint? Just give me like a tiny hint. And maybe ACC I is at, uh, oh, okay. It's a, it's a Coast southern Conference. school. Um, Southeast. Wake Forest. Incorrect. Incorrect. Mitch? What was it? Georgia Tech. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Georgia, Georgia Tech, 2012. Georgia. It was for four yards. Wow. Big daddy. Huge. <laughs> Huge. All right. Bubble pass. Second one is, which team did he have a single game career high in receiving yards against? It was in 2014. Home Cincin- game. Uh, not Cincinnati. No. Team Utah in- State. No. Even though they did get the business though that game, but <laughs> not them. Can you give me a hint? Uh, I was born in the state. Oregon. Nope, I wasn't born. Oh, Nevada, yeah. Las it Vegas, was Nevada. Just Nevada. And, uh, okay, just Nevada. Okay. UNR. Nevada. 182 yards. Wow. Nevada, 2014. Right. All right, here's the last one. Which team did he score his most touchdowns against in his career? Utah State. There it is. Oh, hey. That is true, but it's not. You the each game got you're one. Thinking. It's not the game you're thinking of. It was when I was a sophomore. Wait, really? Yeah. Because you balled out the game that I watched. That wasn't the best. I, I, no way. It was my before you knew each other. My sophomore year. No way. Yeah. Well, you cool. scored six touchdowns against Utah State in your career. In three games. Yes. 
Well, they, they got the business, I swear to you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone listening is like, Maddie, they're they probably the- like, their ears are bleeding. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So post BYU, let's talk about your lives because you guys have done a lot, had two children. Mitch, you graduate from BYU, go through the NFL draft process, get a free agent deal with the Kansas City Chiefs. What was that process like for the both of you? You've talked about it a little bit. You had to do long distance, but mm-hmm. but what was that like? Uh, there's two sides of two sides of it. So football was was football, and we can we can dive into that. But football was amazing. Um, you know, going to Kansas City, I, I made a lot of mistakes in the NFL by choosing you know the wrong teams. I think I've told that in different podcasts before. I should have gone to Green Bay instead of Kansas City. I love Andy Reid, but I shouldn't have gone there. Um, and I you know I was with the Cleveland Browns, hurt my hamstring. They called me back. I should have gone back, but I didn't. I went to Minnesota instead. Made some mistakes that you know that are all that are all hindsight twenty twenty mistakes. Um, but it was a crazy time in my life to be on an NFL team, getting married, you know, funeral for my mom. And I, I was at that time contemplating, am I, am I on the next chapter of life? Like, I'm not sure. So you have all these crazy thoughts I've never yeah. had before. <clears throat> That'll put hair in your chest for sure. Turn <laughs> you into a man, you know? Um, and so it was really, really tough balancing that all. But when I was just had time with Maddie and I, it was just, it was some sweet moments. It was amazing. And that's so that's how I knew through all the chaos when I'm with Maddie. I'm like, if I if she can handle me at these times, she can handle me whenever. <laughs> so that's when that's when I knew life was was good with her. And and then it was, you know, for me watching her, her junior and senior year and um th- I guess that's just what I knew. Like it was I was supposed to be with her when she saw my life and lived my life and all the tough points from football and my mom and everything. And when she was by my side, that's when I knew she was the one. And that's when our life sort of blossomed. Um, and it was sort of a baton passing from my mom to her in a w- weird way. Like my, my female rock in my life was my mom and then it was passed to Maddie. And um, like I said, that's when I knew. And then uh, after two years of, of football, after college, bouncing around doing distance that made us even stronger I think just all over the country while she's still balancing life grieving my situation and I'm out playing watching her balance that all so those two years were definitely the craziest we've ever had no mm-hmm. question For sure. what um, was it like from your perspective Maddie kind of the same thing like I like want to say the same what Mitch said like I remember because her funeral was a week before or like five days <clears throat> before our wedding and I just remember, like, the day we were supposed to take bridles. I'm like, do we even go to bridles? Because I don't even, because she was still alive at this point. Could have passed yeah. it any second. Yeah. And I'm like, do we even do it? And everyone's like, you have to go. Like, she'd be mad if you didn't. So we went and took bridles. And I just remember, like, even in the most chaotic moment, like, we had a blast. Like, I feel like it, we were just in our little bubble for just a tiny little moment, just mm-hmm. laughing and having a good time. But, yeah, like, going back to the NFL – all that stuff. Um, yeah, same thing. Like, I actually didn't get to go to one of Mitch's NFL games because mm. soccer season is the same oh. as football season. And so I was either traveling, practice, game. So I never got to watch him. I always, you know, watch when I could on TV and stuff like that. But, yeah, it was just crazy long distance and all that stuff and trying to manage life. But it was crazy times but fun times for sure, you know. One thing I love about you guys is you're you're both still extremely committed to to fitness and sports. Mm-hmm. What would you say this might be a very obvious question, but what would you say drives that? Yeah, it's just in my blood. Like my happy place is sports and workouts and just being outside and all of that stuff. Like and I also want to set example for like my daughters too is like yeah, this is good for you. You can't take time for yourself, especially as mothers. It's hard yeah. to like take any time for yourself. Mm-hmm. And I even have this like weird mom guilt anyway when I'm like working out and like at home and they're watching me and I'm like, oh man, I should probably be giving them attention. Yeah. But like in my head, I'm like, no, I know this is good because then Micah will join my workout and be like, yeah. mom, can I do this? And so now she knows so squats, fun. jumping jacks. Like she, I think she could be a little personal trainer honestly she's (laughs) she's she's got something going but yeah I love that what about for you Mitch why is it something that's so important still uh I don't know my my mom was a Pilates and group fitness instructor my whole childhood whole childhood like she would have these weird rules of the house where you know if we're watching my brother and I for watching too much tv then uh we would have to 
do a certain either yoga pose or a stretch during the com- <laughs> during Such the commercials. A Lisa thing. I love that during the commercials. So she had this big uh, inflatable um, w- exercise ball, and then we'd have to sit on our knees and balance that if we wanted to watch TV. Like that was just like wow. her mentality. And she was not like a drill sergeant, but it was yeah. just a fun way to like be fit. And she had just always moving and always on the go. And so I'm just like her little, you know, like her, her little. Um, protege if you will for sure (laughs) I've always loved health and wellness and fitness and uh, it's like this is what I wear every day short shorts and like (laughs) hiking shoes I had to borrow a t-shirt here this isn't mine this is what Tori gave me Um, because I was I came straight from a hike like we just love being busy physically and moving around and doing our thing and um, I just I think that's fun to us, but I just I love uh, what it, the outlet it is for me. So we keep it rocking. You know? Mitch hiked the Y twice today. Why would you do that? Yeah, two and a half. Come on. Oh, two and a half times. Sorry. And he oh. carries a giant rock. Up That's that. crazy. So, like, once a week. <laughs> it's a dang good time. Well, and you do. It's a dang good. Do time. you do this too? You did something like you do one mile in the first, two miles in the second, oh right? Gosh. The calendar. Oh, we did it. Oh, by the way, I announced that here in this. Yeah, room you with did. Johnny. With Johnny Linehan. That's right. Yeah. Wow. I said if BYU won this game against Arkansas, I'd do it. Even though I was planning on doing it anyways. Um, <laughs> but that was in. But that luckily. Was, that was in March. I ran 500 miles in March. So the That's challenges, amazing. that challenges I love, just like certain big stumbling block challenges that you have to really go all in for. I just love those. They bring me back to like the football mode where like you're yeah. something big, you know, you have to get ready for. I'm just kind of, the habits are there and it's just kind of in my personality just to be doing and stuff. Yeah. So. I'm more like get the workout in and like feel good for the day. And Mitch is like, let's do these crazy challenges. And I'm like, you're crazy. <laughs> he has a craziness to him. It's the best. It's I- one of my favorite things about him though. I feel like a lot of former athletes kind of had that mentality. Yeah. Like they need that that thing. The competitive. You have a big you're, yes. you're so used to you're so used to it. You gotta totally. have some big out at least you should, in my opinion. You gotta have some big outlet, you know? Totally. We're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll have more from former BYU football and soccer stars, husband and wife, Mitch and Maddie Matthews. You guys also have quite a big social media following. What what first started that? Like, when did you first say, hey, let's try and do some fun things on social media, Maddie? Okay, no one's going to know what I'm talking about, but, like, I kind of grew up with social media, I guess, in high school, where, like, at first, like, Instagram was, like, taking a picture of, like, what you ate that day with, like, a weird filter, but, like... <laughs> You're just oh, like, riveting, riveting You're just stuff. like documenting everything. Yeah. And uh, I'm not a funny person, but like I love making, I don't even know how this would make sense, but like I just love creating fun videos yeah. and even like Vine. I don't know if you guys have heard of Vine, but like there was a, like I loved making funny videos on Vine. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're so funny. And I'm like, I'm really not, but like <laughs> I, guess I can I capture funny moments. But yeah, I just love like with TikTok now. I love pranking Mitch. It's like one of my favorite things to do. It's oh, like, it's insane! I'm actually great to prank though, and they're always he's the best and person. How do you not know it's coming though? Like at this point? Oh no! At this point, my guard's up, and I've caught her. I've caught her. Like the fact that she doesn't post it more is because I catch her. Yeah, for sure. So she has to really go all out now. Yeah. She's so also, I have to be sneaky. She's also as much as I love her, love her to death. She's also a terrible actor. And so I'm like. <laughs> really like <laughs> serious like this is so like it's so obvious uh but then sometimes she sometimes she's gotten me good when she gets your dad involved dude, she's that's me good. see that's where you have to like add new things where yeah. it's like once someone else is involved he's like wait a minute wait really <laughs> is this or is this the last fake? one she got me that when she fought with my yeah so we did this my dad <laughs> you he, guys he have to watch a, it he drank a gallon of milk sh- like, like we, lip, by the way we planned this lid. for like an hour before like what are we saying what are we doing we have to like paint the scene and then her and my dad started like yell fighting in the kitchen and i was in, in the middle of it it was so brutal like, why would you drink i thought that? they were That's joking disgusting. I, they, I was like oh, you're joking you're joking and then i'm like oh Kept they're doubling going. down they doubled down and i'm like this is so awkward <laughs> 
But that but doesn't seem like off. either their personalities. No, it you doesn't. It, been... just, it was a breaking moment for her. She just <laughs> broke. And I'm like, her... I get it. He, his lips touched the milk carton. Like, I get I get why you'd break at this moment. That's disgusting. I was already being kind of moody that day, too. And so, like, Mitch was like, you were, wait you a minute. You set the scene perfectly then. For sure. Oh, dude. It was like a week-long buildup. That was bad. <laughs> That's so great. The poop and the, the fake poop in Micah's diaper when she was a baby. Was that was the, the, the very the crowning, first prank. The crowning jewel where yeah. I lost my lid. So, to pay a picture i like got chocolate and i just like melted it and put it in the diaper yeah. micah was still in diapers at this point so i laid it out then i put micah next to it and of course babies love eating yeah, chocolate yeah. so i gave her some <laughs> put it on her mouth before and then she knew that that was chocolate so she was eating out of it i was hiding upstairs because i know that my face so I, like I, I like saw heard the garage opening set micah down sprinting yeah. upstairs he opens the door and sees the scene lost my marbles <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was a good one. She just, did you a, find she, out dude, pretty quickly? Look, like, did you smell it? Were you like, oh, okay? Yeah. No, I just thought there's. She's never like far than four That's... feet from our ki- children ever. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, the fact that she's down here by herself with her diaper off. <laughs> <laughs> And then I did take a whiff, and it was like some peanut buttery Nutella concoction. I figured <laughs> so it was good, not Maddie. that. So good. If she just tripled down the pranks, dude. We like she'd be. I just can't so hide famous it. Famous on Instagram. I can't. What 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 are some of the negatives about having so many people watching you and watching what you're doing? Do you ever get like weird people reaching out or? Oh, of course, yeah, you, yeah. I think you you, I I just think you have to have a filter of like, soup. Like you want to be show who you are and show your personality and be vulnerable and what you know. That's like the way you grow on social media. But there's a time where it's like, hey, social media is also real life. Like people can also see every part of your life and yeah. see where you live. That, that could totally. be a little strange, but for the most part, I think human beings are normal people and it's good to share. And I think with Maddie's business and what she does and um, training and the, the product she sells, like social media is obviously important for that. And then the things that I launched, the business that I launched, like in social media is important. So um I don't think we've ever had a crazy run in with social media, like something scary come from social media. Nothing. But you definitely have to have a filter of like who you respond to. And all yeah, that stuff. I think the thing I've learned is the more people that see, the more judgment. Yeah. And oh, it's you gotta weird. Be ready. You got to be ready. And it's really weird because like I do care what people think. But for some reason, like ever since becoming a mom, I don't know what it is, but it's like I don't care. I don't it's care like the people think? who know me and they have judgments, let's talk. But the people who like are watching me, from a tiny, tiny little lens of my whole entire yeah. life. Like I'll post a video of like me and the girls and people will be like, Oh, you're the worst mom. Or why don't you do this? And I'm like, if you only you saw my day 24 seven, I don't think you would be saying that. Do right. you know what I mean? Totally. So it's like, I know oh, the keyboard deep warriors down. Are crazy. Yeah. I thing, that's I what that it would is. Go away after a while. It's like worse. It's just getting worse. The bit like the more views a video gets you, but at the same time, I mean, this is bad. This is toxic. But like the more can, what's the word I'm looking Hate. for? But the more, more clicks. yeah. But the more like spicy. What's the word I'm looking for? You go more viral. Controversial. 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 The more viral it becomes. Yes, because yeah. it's like people in the comments, and yes. so it's like I can't control that. And sometimes I'm not doing it on purpose, but then I look back. I'm like, oh, you know, whoops. But then it yeah. just blows up. So not doing that on purpose. Well, the comments but sometimes get spicy. It helps. That's where you get the views. Yeah. What's it like being a parent and slowing down after having such? Just like intense collegiate careers. Now you kind of have to slow down. And now you're a mom, Maddie. Mm-hmm. What's that been like for you? Crazy. Like, <laughs> I love reminiscing on like my life before, but I think you can relate where you're like, what was life mm-hmm. before having kids? Like mm-hmm. I had this much time. <laughs> like I could have like eat when I wanted to eat and like shower when I wanted to shower. Mm. But it's honestly been like life hasn't been better even though it's like hard it's just the best like I just want what I had as a child I want that for my kids and like what Mitch had so it's really beautiful to like make this life together and dude she is in her element like she it fits like a glove (laughs) dude she's so dialed as a mom and the girls like they are on every organic squeezable freaking meal <laughs> like every regimen every calorie is counted for dude it is so i don't even know how she does it man i'd like no i, I like them. I, we had I donuts just, for breakfast the other day 
Yeah, and we see they we, bring we that have up fun. one time. We that, have like, fun. And we're the, they're like, this has too much sugar. Yeah, she, dude, <laughs> she can't. was she was portioning it off, and she's got every <laughs> medicine, every anti whatever, and every freaking vitamin you can imagine. She's she's dialed. She's in her element. You know what I mean? It's she's fun. dialed. What about for you, Mitch? What was that like becoming a dad? Oh, it's the funnest thing ever. Um, I just love having fun with the kids. I, I don't I don't think I'm the most like the super slow down nurturing moments. I don't think that's like in my wheelhouse as much as it is Maddie's like as a nurturer. Like cuz I have never slowed down, probably never will, you know. Especially after football and NFL, like you're just it's so go 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 like having like such a still life with like a newborn and then a new newborn like it's you're like whoa this is actually <laughs> nuts like this thing doesn't talk it doesn't want to run what am I supposed to with do you. with this thing yeah. it doesn't want to compete with you and like <laughs> play games um, so I have gotten a, a, to be a better dad as my kids have gotten older because I love teaching I love yeah. coaching I love playing that's like where I thrive. So obviously you're in, you know, you're in newborn heaven when you have those newborns, but I've gotten so much better as the kids have gotten older and it's just going to get better and better. Cause that's where I, that's my for element. Sure. Yeah. You know? For sure. And it's not like it's a baton passing from like Maddie the first three years, then to me, it's just like sort of this natural thing, but being a dad's the best thing ever. It's so much fun. Yeah. When dad's home, rec- mom is chopped liver. For yeah, sure. sure. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, all about, it's all about pops for sure. Yeah. Have, the real question is, have either of them showed any interest in sports? Micah doesn't care Micah's for how soccer. old? How old is she's Micah? She's three. She's three. So she's okay. still young. Yeah. She doesn't care that's about right soccer. When, that's right when you can start putting them in stuff. Yes. Three years yeah. old. She doesn't she care about it. She is in gymnastics because <laughs> I did hear that like gymnastics is like the best sport that you can put them in for everything. Just like yeah. the coordination, the strength. And so I'm like, I'm going to milk that for as long as I can just for coordination purposes. But yeah, again, of course I would love if my girls played soccer around track, but... If they don't. If they don't, that's fine, and I'll support them in whatever they play. But I just want them to be competitive in whatever they do, you know? If, if they want to play chess and ballroom dance. You exactly. guys are like, I won't right know there. what to do, but I will be right there. I'll be right there. <laughs> All right, my last question for you guys is, what kind of things do you hope and do you want your girls to learn from you and implement into their own lives? We'll start with Mitch. Hmm. Um, super high self-esteem, a belief that they can go accomplish anything they want to. Short and sweet, that's it. I love it. Maddie, what about you? Oh, my gosh. That's such a loaded question. (laughs) I just think – I don't want to copy what Mitch said. You can. I also want them to know that, like, I want them to, like, love themselves so much that they they do have that confidence to, like, do whatever. But, like, be coachable but also have confidence in yourself. I don't know. No, I love well, that. that. Like it's huge. It's That's not that huge. like life's about football or li- life is not about football and life is not about soccer. Those are just like stepping big, stones big for a big life. For yeah. life. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it's it's okay and at least I'll speak for football to like turn on the super high ego when you need to turn that on. Like, you know, it's game time. It's it's that. But like turning that off to be super selfless in times where you need to be charitable and be a good friend, be a good teammate, be a good leader, you know, help the like lift the the kid in need who's mm-hmm. struggling, you know. Um, but it's just you you can own. I believe you can do a lot when you have a super high self love and high self esteem. Like you look at yourself as an awesome person who can do a lot of good in the world. And so when the arena is football, you can do a lot of good there. When the arena is business and life, you can do a lot of good there. So it's like self love and high self esteem for the self, not just like a confident football player or like yeah. a cocky yeah. soccer player. It's like. That just goes away after four years. Yeah. It's about high self-esteem so that when football does end, it isn't like rock bottom for the next 10 years in life and you're a has-been that always mm-hmm. looks back to what you did on the field. It's high self-esteem and high self-love for like the human, you know? Yeah, the thing that comes to my head right now, and this is like just a small example, but like Mike is learning to put on her shoes right now. And she was getting frustrated the other day because she's like, Mom, I can't do it. I can't. And... I don't want her to have that mentality. I try to correct her and I know she's young, but I'm like, Micah, you can do it. But like, just say, I need help. Like I want her to be able to, it's okay to ask for help if you can't do something, but we don't say I can't because you can. She's like, okay, I can. I'm like, okay, can you say I need help? She's like, yeah, I just need help. And then I told her how to do it and she didn't. She's like, I did it, you know? So just like how you talk to yourself too, 
like don't tell yourself that you can't do anything because you can just figure you know find solutions so I just I don't know I love Small things like that you know I love that you two are incredible thank you so much for You're coming on with me we love hanging the out fans you. learned a lot I hope you learned a lot about each other in the process we, yeah we, we did actually, <laughs> we actually did That's that was crazy. great it was a great little therapy session yeah all right that does it for us today thanks again to Maddie and Mitch Matthews for coming on the show with me Carter Bond and Tori Kimball helped produce this episode with senior producer Terry South you can join the Cougar Tailgate wherever you get your podcasts on Apple Tune and Stitcher Spotify or on BYUradio.org Cougar Tailgate is a production of BYU Radio.